Hey YouTube, aka Soggy Buns here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the awesome Raspberry Pi Pico up and running using the wonderful, famous Arduino IDE. Just to give a little introduction of the Raspberry Pi Pico, it's a cheap little brother to the famous Raspberry Pi. As you can see, they have two iterations: the just the original Pi Pico and the Pi and the Pi Pico W. Uh, the the main difference between these two is the Pico W has onboard. A wireless chip right here. What's so awesome about these microcontrollers is they're a lot cheaper than a Raspberry Pi and sometimes just because you're familiar with the Raspberry Pi architecture you want to use a Raspberry Pi to complete a project or do a simple task. So Raspberry Pi came out with these little Pi Picos that are very cheap. I mean uh, sometimes you can get them for like just a few dollars. Very robust, super easy to, to interface with and they make a great addition to any Raspberry Pi product or project. Uh, here's just a little pinout for the, the Pico. Uh, you can take a, a look there. Again, for being such as, you know, for being a microcontroller, it still has a lot of uh, GPIO pins, interfaces. What's very nice about it is it has the, has, uh, you know, IC squared, which makes it so that you can, you know, basically connect a bunch of these together, have a ra main Raspberry Pi talk to all these Picos, or have a Pico control other Picos. That's what makes this, this board so great. So if you're familiar with using the Raspberry Pi, especially the full desktop version, and may be new to programming microcontrollers, the Pico may be a little bit of a challenge at first. However, in this video, we'll show you how simple it is to get the Pico up and running. But first, hit the subscribe button if you aren't already, and give the video a thumbs up so that we can make more tutorials and uh, show how it's just like this. So if you haven't already, go ahead and download the Arduino IDE. Just do a simple Google search of Arduino IDE. And at this time of recording, I recommend uh, just doing the IDE too. Go ahead, click download, and then uh, go ahead and get the, the IDE installed. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it here. So once you have it installed, we're gonna want the IDE to be able to recognize the Pico. In order to do this, we're going to need to configure the IDE to recognize the Pico board. So to do this, go ahead, click uh, for Windows File Preferences. It will open up the Preference window to the Additional Boards Manager URLs. What you're going to want to do, and I'll I'll give you this, but you're going to want to enter in this GitHub link provided by Earl Phil Philhauer, and it's make sure it's the the .json URL. But just to give you a little uh, overview of what it has, d does for us. If you don't know already, the RP2040 is a microcontroller and is able to be put on other boards. What this package does is it allows support for all of these boards. So of course, we've got the Pico and the Pico W, but look at all of these other boards. You got all these boards by Adafruit, the, the Feather RP2040, an awesome board. I recommend it for beginners especially. The Metro, this is an awesome board as well, but look at all of these boards that are supported by adding this package. So once you have it here, go ahead and press OK. Once the URL is pointed to that, that index file, the board manager uses to build a list of available and installed boards. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add board support package. In the IDE, go ahead and click Tools, Board, Boards Manager. And then here we're going to type in RP2040. And you'll see there's a couple um, there's a couple options here. But the one that we're going to want to install is this one, the Raspberry Pi Pico RP2040 by Earl F. Phil, Philhauer the uh, third. Currently right now I have 3.61 installed. So what you'll do is just like this, there'll be the install button. Go ahead and click install. Now this is going to take some time to install, so just give it a few minutes, uh, you'll be good to go. At this point, you're gonna wanna go ahead and plug in your uh, RP2040. And as you can see down here, uh, right now we don't have any boards selected. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go up to Tools, Board, and then you should see this option, the Raspberry Pi Pico RP2040. Now, depending on which board you're using, you'll select the board that you have. But for this instance, we're using the Raspberry Pi Pico. So I'll go ahead and select that. Uh, as you can see, it still says that we're not connected. 
So we'll go back up to Tools, Port, and I'm going to select whatever COM port we're, we're on. In my instance, it's COM4. As you can see, we're now connected. So let's go ahead and upload our first Hello World program, the Blink Sketch. So to do this, we're going to go to File, Examples, and then we're just going to use the built-in examples. We're going to use the basic Blink. And as you can see, I'm still connected here to the Raspberry Pi Pico on COM4. Uh, this is just a simple Blink. It turns the onboard LED for the Pico, just turns it on and off. So what we're going to do, since we're connected, we're just going to hit Upload. We're done uploading. And once it's done uploading, you should see the onboard LED of your board blinking just on and off. And just a quick little look at the code. Here's our setup. It, it uses the built-in LED, turns it to an output. As it loops, it just makes it high, waits, makes it low, and then waits. So it just turns it on and off, makes it blink. So that's super simple. If that worked for you, great. Give this video a thumbs up because that's awesome. You programmed the Pico for your first time. Let's go ahead and let's load a different sketch just to make sure, you know. So go ahead to File, Examples. And then now what we want to do is we want to go to the examples for the Raspberry Pi Pico. These are the ones that from that package that we downloaded earlier. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the RP2040 section and look at the temperature. So this actual chip has a temperature sensor built into it. So we're going to go ahead and load that. As you can see, I'm still connected to the Raspberry Pi on COM4. What this does is it, it makes a serial connection with the, the serial debugger and prints out the temperature uh, currently in uh, Celsius, Celsius. So go ahead, upload. Done uploading. Looks like we had a success. So let's go ahead and open up the serial monitor. And as you can see, it's spitting out the temperature of our Raspberry Pi RP2040 onboard temperature sensor. So as you can see, using the Arduino IDE to program the Raspberry Pi Pico isn't as daunting as it seems, and it's fairly easy to get up and running. Thanks to Earl, you see there are quite a few example sketches um, which actually cover a wide spectrum. And I'll just we'll just pull these up again. Look at look at the spectrum of use cases. You got uh, HTTP clients for the W version, uh, Bluetooth, or BLE for the W version, but look at all these use cases, servos. So I would encourage you to, um, to look over the examples and see if uh, you can get them working. A wide spectrum of use cases for the microcontroller as well as the built-in example sketches like the Blink sketch that we used in this video. Hopefully this is a good start to using the Raspberry Pi Pico using the Arduino IDE. If you'd like me to cover any of the other sketches, just let me know in, in the comment section below. Thank you. Until next time, aka Soggy Buns.